Hi, welcome back to Book Chats from Lonsdale Public Library. Uh, today I'm going to talk about ABC books because we all know them, right? We've all enjoyed some over the years. Uh, in fact, I, I started to wonder uh, how old alphabet books are, so I went to the internet because we live in the age of information. And would you believe the oldest alphabet book known is Thomas Pettit's The BAC, both in Latin and in English. 1538. So, ABC books, not a new phenomenon, uh, but we also live in an age of abundance. There's so many great ones these days. Um, so I thought I would share a few of my favorites, all of which are available here at the library, and there are more than this. So you will not run short of ABC books. Um, and they're a great resource uh, for kids of different ages. For the very small, it's less about, you know, teaching the alphabet and more about just creating those positive feelings about books and getting them used to holding and looking at books. Um, so you want to start with sturdy board books like these ones on top or even those cloth books for babies um, and just let them explore. Let them hold on to them. Um, and you want to go, in this case, simple books, limited words, bright, colorful um, colors, maybe a fun rhyme scheme. So for the youngest children, you want to start with something very simple, like this classic, Eric Carle's ABCs. And uh, what's great about this one is it just has one illustration and one word on each page. So it's horse with his wonderful classic Eric Carle illustrations, iguana, and then it's interactive. So they can pick this one up and oh, jaguar and kangaroo. So that's a good, fun one for the very early learners. Um, and another good one for early learners is Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. If you're not familiar with this book, you have not lived because it's a classic. Uh, it's by Bill Martin and John Archambault, illustrated by Lois Ehlert. Uh, it was originally published in 1989. Uh, it's a simple tale with a great rhythm. This one is fun because it's very musical. Um, it's about... You know, it personifies the letters as they climb up a tree. Um, and chaos ensues, but of course it ends happily because it's a kid's book. So you've got, We said D to E, F, G. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Will there be enough room? Here comes H up the coconut tree. So you get to do it in the rhythm and it's lots of fun. And then one more um, board book that's also just a hoot. This is a very recent one. It's called ABC Dance and Animal Alphabet by Sabrina Moyle, pictures by Eunice Moyle. Um, and again, it just has one animal for each letter, but in this case, they are getting their groove on. So this is a fun one that maybe even older kids might get a hoot out of. Um, so the dolphins are dabbing, the elephants enchant. The foxes fandango, just look at them dance. So it's kitty. It's got these really fun illustrations. And you know, come on, who can resist dabbing dolphins? It's hilarious. <laughs> so that's a fun one. Um, and then, so the next sort of step up uh, where ABC books continue to be useful are kids that are beginning to learn their alphabet. They're maybe starting to read. Um, so it helps, you know, the, these alphabet books, they help with those crucial skills of letter recognition, building the vocabulary. And again, you know, if they do them right, they're just fun. Um, so I'm going to talk about Oops, Pounce, Quick, Run by Mike Tui. Um, and this is a great one for early learners because it just has one or maybe two words per page. So early readers might be able to read it themselves. Um, and yet it tells a whole story in alphabetical order. It's very clever. Um, the illustrations, again, are a lots of fun. So for example, I'll chase, says the dog. Jump, trying to catch the little mouse. Don't worry, it has a happy ending. Um, and then slightly more sophisticated, um, T-Rexes Can't Tie Their Shoes by Anna Lazowski, illustrated by Steph Liberis. Um, and this one's good. Uh, you wouldn't even know it's an ABC book, right? But it is. Uh, but it comforts kids because when you're little, there's all kinds of stuff you can't do. You're too short for this. You're too young for that. Um, and so they 
point out, again, it's an animal per letter. It's a classic formula. And it shows the things they can't do. And these illustrations are hilarious. So I had to go with the one that has the library. Quetzals can't keep quiet. Raccoons can't ride roller coasters. So very funny little stories. Um, and then uh, we've got just a very charming little book called uh, C is for Country by Lil Nas X. You may know him uh, as a singer. Uh, it's illustrated by Theodore Taylor III. And it's a very sweet little story about the joys of living in the country. And again, as I say, it's got those charming illustrations and it lets Lil Nas be Lil Nas. So for example, I is for itty bitty pony. J is for joy. Nothing makes me happier than a ride with Panini. So it's simple, um, good for younger and not quite so young kids and you know anybody that loves living on a farm and finally I'm gonna end with one that's um, a little more sophisticated maybe less about alphabet learners and uh, might even appeal to older kids but it's very funny it's called A is for another rabbit by Hannah Batsit um, and it's the the author wants to make every letter of the alphabet about rabbits but the owl who is the editor and he sort of represents that boring grown-up says you can't have an alphabet book that has just rabbits it should have different animals on every page we saw that earlier right well this subverts that whole idea and you have things like this l is for long ears or short ears each rabbit's a prize a rabbit's a rabbit no matter the size so that conflict is very amusing and the way they managed to find every letter to represent rabbits is kind of a hoot. So hopefully this shows you that you can enjoy ABC books with uh, kids from the very earliest to well into the reading age. And uh, hopefully you got some new ideas. We will see you again in two weeks. Bye.